today i'm going to be climbing the popular olumo rock in abiokuta ogun state of nigeria around the world have unique histories and Abiokuta, an ancient town and the capital of Ogun state in the southwestern part of Nigeria has its own fair share of histories. One of such history is that of the popular Olumo rock, a rock that is said to have given refuge and saved lives. I headed out to Ikija community in Abiokuta North local government area of Ogun state to hear the Olumo rock story. My name is Vera. What's your name? Okay, my name is Kazin. So you're welcome. As you can see, this is first landing stage of the rock out of three. So we have three stages, but you've already conquered the most difficult part of it already. The reason is that we have about 220 steps here all together from the base to the topmost. Well, you guys already climbed about 120. Whoa. Let's give it to ourselves. <laughs> we need that. We need, we need that. Okay, I, 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 I didn't even know that. <laughs> so, you won't know. It's the staircase, just the staircase. So, and you are now at um, Lishabi Garden. This garden was named after one of our past warriors called Lishabi Agbu Buakala. The man fought different war for this town. He fought Kiriji war for Igbas. He fought Adubi war for Igbas. He fought Kenke war for Igbas. He also fought Idaomi war for Igbas and conquered. That is why they named this garden after his name. Even there is one Egba um, atem. They used to sing. Meaning, I will rejoice in the name of Lishabi Agbongwakala. Do you understand? Yeah. So, and we have three trees that dominate this guy we talk about. The first one is Swamboyan tree, that very one. Okay. It's called Pansheke in Yoruba land. See the black pod? Yeah. When you hold the pod, either you tap it, you shake it, it makes a sound, shake, 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 shake. That is where you tap the name from. That's oh. why they call it Pansheke. And the botanical name for the tree is Dinolik Dijia. Dinolik Dijia. I will remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one. Um, area here in Abekuta as well called Mansheke. Okay. When you go to that area, there is no motor garage at that particular place. So before the motor garage, there's a lot of this tree. That's why they named that area Mansheke. So the second tree we talk about here is Dongoyaru. Nim, Nim tree. Very medicinal. The botanical name for the tree is Asadirata Indica. <laughs> It's very medicinal. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can pluck the leaf and boil, very good for malaria fever. Yeah. If you cut the stem and shrink, good for bad breath. Oh, really? Yes. Good for bad breath. But the tree, I think the, the leaf itself smells. It, sells, it smells, yes. And it's, it's good smells. for bad breath. Good for bad breath. It's thick. This thick. Oh, it's okay, thick. okay. But it's bitter. Uh, very bitter. Has to be. <laughs> the one over there, the third one, that is a girdon. The tree of doggedness and resilience. So English call it tree of resilience, doggedness because of the root. The root is very stubborn. You can see the root all around. It's from oh. the tree. Very stubborn. In fact, when you purchase a land and the tree is very close to the land, don't purchase the land. It can destroy the foundation. <laughs> oh, yes, wow. it can destroy the foundation. But the girl has its own advantage. 
the advantage of Igbeodo is that underneath it is very cool. That is the tree where the elderly people used to play that uh, local game, Ayolo. Ayolo. Mm -hmm. They used to hold village meeting underneath. And elderly people they used to sit down to relax after their daily routine as well. Even lovers, they do meet themselves under Beg Yodon. <laughs> when you hear Pade Mila Beg Yodon, meet me under Beg Yodon. That's the tree they're talking about. You got to start the issue of Ulumo proper from there, from the mission of Ulumo. Okay. After they go to the cave, we are a grab people heat. That is where they bring out the name of this town and for the popularity today. Yeah, Abu Kuta. Under the road. Under the road, yes, you are right. <laughs> you are I right. got it. <laughs> you are right. So you're going to see that place. You also see the symbols of Egba warriors as well. The people that fought for this town. And from there, you can climb to the top. You're going to see the old town. Shall we proceed? Yes, we shall. So you are now at. Um, Oisha Olumo Chamber. So this is where the over sacrifice to this rock every year. And the over sacrifice to the rock because Olumo is a symbol of Egba unity. And Egba people hid under this rock for three years during the Cha tribal war between Egba and Dahomey, which is now public of Bene. Bene, yes. And they are protected. So after three years, the community said that the God of the rock has protected them. So they've been doing sacrifice for them to show appreciation. Since then, the rock became a deity to them. And there isn't a very big black cow for sacrifice. Wow. Very big one with chicken, snail, bitter cola, and local gin. The following day, all the kings here in this town, they will come here, they come and pray for this town, and also pray for people to climb the rock so that they will not fall down. So nobody has ever fallen down from the rock. They don't ever record any bad casualty here. But the day they worship the world, they allow people to come and be a part of the celebration. They also allow foreigners. It's a big ceremony. So that day, they open the shrine for people to see what is inside. Oh, okay. And this is what they are doing inside, but they cannot oh, go inside. Oh, oh, oh. So there's a door yes. in the shrine? Yes, oh, okay. at the back of at that lot. Oh, it's locked okay. already. All right. Because they don't allow two people to go inside. The king of this town, Alaki of Egbala, and the chief priest. Because that Alaki is a paramour. We have four kings here in this town. Can I mention them? Go ahead, please. The first king is called Alaki of Egbala, followed by Oshile of Okiono. The third one is Bagua of Agua, while the last one is Ulu of Ulu. Those are the four kings we have in this town. Mm. So and you can see the road Uluma Waka Belua Belomo Abeloro. Many begging for money, begging for child, begging for wealth. Because we still have people who believe on tradition. That means if you believe on this, you can come here at any time to come and pray. As the talk is an opportunity. You can easily go up there and pray for whatever you want. Because Uluma is a deity, you can always plead for any good things in life. For the celebration. Okay. Um, is it that particular month of the year? Not a specific day. So only Alaki can announce the day they will come for the sacrifice. So let's go to the cave. Okay. That was buried here, on the little house behind you. And the reason why they buried the man here is because during his lifetime, the man was a chief. When the chief died in any other town, they used to bury them at the back of the house or in front of the house because that is your back tradition and custom. You can see the man's name, Sonny Ositoko. Sonny, that is his own personal name, but Osi, that is his title from this area, oh, okay. which is called Itoko. Why the man died 23rd of January 1956. 1956? <laughs> he died in 1956. State government took over the shock as a tourist center in 1976. That is 20 years after his death. So, but before coming to take over the rock, nothing like staircase here, nothing like wellings. When you're here, you have to climb with your hands. It's even more adventurous data than now. They used to climb. If you get to a stage where they used to carry people in between two us like this, when you get to that particular place, you have to jump from a rock to other one before you can go to the top. Yeah. Wow. If you can't jump, either you go back or you release yourself for the guide to carry you. <laughs> Those guys that are that isn't juju to carry people. They call it agbifuye. Mm. They just tie that on the arm. When they carry you, become light. That is wow. real bad technology. <laughs> real, technology. real technology. I'm telling you. <laughs> so if you are very big, when they carry you, become like cutting board. Wow. But right now, at that particular place, there is modern technology. There is a bridge. We walk by ourselves. Yeah. But before going to the Egba water time header, there's a water that has to come out from this place. That's why they put the plank over there. The medicinal water from the rock. 
you know we are not in the dry season. Yeah. It's not coming now during the dry season. Oh, it usually it comes, comes out during the rainy season. season. Okay. Yes. So that time you can get the water. They say it can cure any disease in the body. That right is called the medicinal water from the rock. So my body is coming to come and get the water. So apart from the spiritual thing attached to it, um, you know we have different rocks, right? Yes. We have Ignos rock, Metamorphic yeah. and Selmetry, right? Yes. So Olmo is an Ignos rock. The water that comes out from an Ignos rock has iron. And you know iron is very good for the body. Yes. So naturally, the water is very good. So come and see this. Okay. You can see the road Egba World Time Hideout. That means this is where Egba people hid, and this is where they bring out the name of this and for the popularity today at Belkuta. Because we Egba are not really from here. We are that old of your empire. That is our ancestral home. So when Egba people having problems in Oyo, you know, oppression and depression, they decide to move from Oyo down to this environment for their own independence. On guessing another work on top between the town, Egbas, and Dahomey. The Dahomey Republic of Benin. Benin. They are neighborhood country. But before the war, there's a man that discovered the rock. His name is called Adagba. He was one that brought Egba people here. And he stayed here for three years, 1830 to 1833. So after three years, they consulted the oracle. Whether you go where they came from, which is Oyo, or they should go to another place because of that war. Oracle said, no, they should not go to anywhere. They should remain here. So Oracle said that this is where God put an hand to their suffering. And wondering, that's not of Ulumo. Ulumo means God has ended the war. Uluwa Fiyogumo. They now show the meaning to Olufimo. Olufimo to Ulumo. I pray the name of Almighty God that God will put an end into our suffering. Amen. So on getting back downstairs, because during the time of war, it's not everybody that is aware to come and hide, just few. Some of them went to the bush. So the few that went to the bush, they're now asking them, where did you hide? They brought them here. They now say that we hid under the rock. For three years? For three years. So I will put that means under the rock or beneath the rock. That means if you come to this town, you haven't been to this place, you haven't come to Abiyokuta. But as I said today, you're not officially welcome to Abiyokuta. You can look up. <laughs> Where are you? Abiyokuta. <laughs> right now when I see a car ball, that's under the rock. Reply, Ekuleo. E Ekuleo. <laughs> <laughs> so come and see some holes inside. You can see the holes on the floor. Yeah. That's where they used to prepare their food items. We had the gun of pepper, pan of yam for their meal, gunpowder, everything. As they're grinding, it's getting deeper. Those are the sort of the grinder. And they use this clay to build some rooms, five rooms inside. Inside. Yeah. Five bedroom flats. Come and see. There were five rooms, actually. Just one of them is remaining over there. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, so this place, I mean, you cannot stand fully. So it means they always had to bend or sit down or lie down. The reason why they are here is because they are new generation from those people that are hid under the rock. So after the war, some of them decided to stay here permanently for their own profession because they consult for people, like a native doctor. That's what they do for people. Okay. So they don't stay permanently anymore because we are now in a civilized world. They are now coming from their home. Yeah, so they live inside the town. <laughs> exactly. These are coming from, from the gates. They oh, live around okay. here. The place yeah. is called Itoko. So oh, Itoko. Itoko. I remember. Exactly. Yes. And the worship god of Igbo here. Igbo means god of long life, god of longevity. Their own belief is that if they worship the god, they will live long. Even their chief pieces, Yolumo, she died recently. Last three months at the age of 137. 137? Yes. Wow. So, because their belief is that if they worship the God, they will live long. And this is the one that succeeded her. At the age of 96, she's the one sitting down. Oh. She became a Yolum at the, at the age of 96. You can imagine. And every March is a festival. Every March? Yes. So, they stay for two months and nine days. During that period, they will not go to their houses. various houses because they have a lot of visitors. They do have visitors from Brazil, Mexican, Argentina, those who import people. But after the festival, they will not come in the morning and go back in the evening time. And we have a tree here. It's called Ewe Akoko. 
Okay. This is a leaf, this is for coronation. Mm -hmm. If a king has to be stuck in any river town, they have to look for the leaf, they pluck it, and they use it to crown a king. With that, this leaf, they cannot crown a king in any river town. So that is why this is said, I can feel it, we do it, that means you cannot use any other leaf to coronate a king except a Yakuko. And this is the only particular one, they don't use for a lack of a balance, which is the paramount ruler of this time. They can't use it for any other king. And the mystery of this tree that doesn't dry. It doesn't dry. It dry. doesn't wither. Two, four, seven, always green. Always like this. So we have a tree here. It's called baobab tree. Oh, yeah. This is baobab tree. In another part of Nigeria, they call it coca leaf. But here in Yoruba land, we used to call it a gyoshe. A gyoshe. That means oshe tree. Yoruba people used to pray through a gyoshe. Ado ye kapa, apo kapa, ado ye koshe, apo koshe. Obindo ye kako nga koshe, binu koshe. Meaning, there is no how you can get your hand around this tree. Because it's a very big tree. Yeah, the trunk is big. I'm telling you. In fact, this one is very small. We may see another one times three of this. So that's why they should pray that. So that somebody's hand cannot go around the tree, their enemy will never try on over their family. I pray the name of Almighty God that your enemy will never turn on over your family. A Amen. So Amen. they also use the tree for something. Here you will land. If they give birth to a baby and the baby was very small, all those premature baby, they can easily peel the back of the tree, boil it. This is order to take a bath for the baby. So gradually the baby will become big. Big. But one thing is that they have to be very careful. The water is not touching the baby's head. Is it poisonous? Head. No. I mean when the water touch the baby's head, the baby become headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how true is that? How true it's, is that story? It's, it's true. That, that is why whenever they want to use it to take a bath for a baby, they will use it to take a bath from neck downward. And the tree survives in desert because it just needs only little water to survive. Yeah, so this tree. particular one now mm. is the Meet, elevator. Elevator that leads to the topmost. Okay. Mm. Is there any entrance here? Yes, there is entrance to the lift and there's a staircase inside as well. Oh, okay. So apart from this, if you want to enjoy your climbing, you climb to the ancient trees. That is where we are taking. No problem. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy hiking <laughs> yeah, at let's all. Go. <laughs> So, we have some sculptures here. These are the symbols of dead eagles, dead warriors, the people that fought for a during the time of war. Just like the one with the pot. That is Lisha Biagun Guacara, the one I said that they named that guy after his name. Yeah. So, you can see that they put the pot on his head. That's pot of sacrifice. So, just to symbolize that they do worship Lisha Bi here in this town. The one with the Chaba Mark, his name is Alatishi. The one over there, that is Shudeke, first Balu going back. And the one with the crown at the corner there, they'll be saying the first king here in this town. That has the moon crown on his head. That's Okunkenu. So these are just sculptures, they were not buried here? They were not buried here, just to remember them and just for decoration. So the one I'm talking about, Okunkenu, was the first king here in this town. So the present Talaki, which is Gadibo, is from the knowledge of this. That's why they should call him Okunkenu the fourth, because he will be the fourth son that will be a king of that family. But his father's name is Badibo. You see the white stuff? The cowries. That's money spent in the hooding day. We call it Owoeyo. But they now use this one to beautify the sculptures. And if I tell you the person that made all this, it's very funny. Who did it? Kiss Daniel's father. Oh, okay. That man is from this area called Ikeruku, from one Anidube family. But that man was once a lecturer in Abiyokuta College of Education, Lecturing Arts. But the man is late now, let's say memory. So from here, we have two ways for you to get to the top. Ancient truth and modern route. So the warriors, they used to climb through the ancient truth to go and see where they may come in. But that time, nothing like staircase. They used to climb through the rocks like this to get to the top. And the place is very, very adventurous. It's fun feet, you know. But for people that have height phobia, so we have alternative route, which is staircase. But if you want to go for adventure, you climb. I think I want to go for the adventurous route.
that was some adventure. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. So this is the second stage. Okay. So the second stage is actually very far from the yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first stage. stage. Exactly. And why the third stage is very close to the second stage? I am currently at the top of Olumo Rock. Not the topmost part, but the second layer. And from here, you can see the whole city of Abiyokuta. It's really awesome. You know how you get to see like a drone view of a place? This is what you get when you get to the top of Olumo Rock. And it's really beautiful. So we're going to move over to the third stage and hopefully I can see the top of the rock and that's going to be like a huge victory because I mean who is not gonna love it when they do something cool and amazing yeah okay yeah where are we climbing that one from so this is the place and this is where they said they used to jump across where they used to carry people then but right now they don't carry people anymore you walk through the bridge but I, I can still jump watch me be careful though please but I can do it so that's how they should jump. Okay. So, but you, you don't have to cross the bridge. I will. I will take this option <laughs> because I can't afford to fall inside here. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Not come like this. Whoa, okay. This one is a bit of a challenge. Enter. I'm good, yeah? yeah Can I come. go? Yes, enter that place. Whoa. Enter. 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 Come out with your leg. Yes. Yes. Don't drop the phone. No, I won't, I won't drop it. Okay. Am I safe here? Yes. Okay. Should I come up there? Come up, come up. Hey. Move, just move. Yeah, hey, move, keep moving. Move, move. Yeah, hey. Use your tiptoe. Move, 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 move. Okay. Yeah, we made, made it. it. <laughs> we made it. <Love> me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the topmost. So, here is the apex. Yeah, can, can, oh here! Yeah, this oh is where they measure the height. I'm standing here. Yes. <laughs> so they measure the height from this particular place, and the height of this rock is about 137 meters, 137 meters above the sea level. That is about 409 feet. Let's see some important places out from this town. I'd okay. like you to see the first church in Nigeria. St. Oh Peter wait. Cathedral, Ake. Okay. Where's that? That's the church. Is it the rock with the green school? Yes, yes, yes. Exactly behind the rock is there a church with the tower, ash color. That's yes, I've seen it, yes. That is the new structure. The one by the side with the tower as well, the smaller one. Okay. Also, as a tower. Oh, yes, I've seen another uh, one by the left. That is the old one, old structure. Okay. So that is the first church in Nigeria. Nice. And that is why they should sing one song here in this town. That What they are trying to say is that the sanity started from this town. Because they built the first church at Ake. They now say that our Jesus, Jesus Christ belongs to us. <laughs> so instead oh, of them they demolish the, the old, old one, one, they leave it, they now build the new one. And from this side, on top of the hill, you see the tallest mast. The hill. Yes, I've seen that. In front of the mast, you go to see two the same building, Abi. And you can look at it very well. There is other two structures behind the two. Yes. That is old Baptist Boys High School, BBHS. Old Baptist, Baptist Boys, Boys High School. Is it the one Fela Kuti's father yeah. was the principal? No, 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 no. That is Abel Kuta Gamma School. But Fela and Nikolako attended Baptist Boys Baptist. High School. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, I know it's somehow yeah, related yeah, to yeah, them. Yes. So that school, that is the school where our former president attended, Obasojo. Also, late Chief MQ Abiola, former Attorney General of Federation Bola Ajibola, a third president in Nigeria, Shuneko, former governor of the state, Binga Danen. Former speaker in Nigeria, Dimiji Bankoli, they all attended Baptist Boys High School. It looks like this, this, the school has produced lots yeah, and lot lots of, of legends. Trees, exactly, exactly. And the school divided moved from there to another site because it's not conducive for them anymore. The place is called Okegunya. 
but the school is now at Okishaje. And we have a mosque that looks like a church. Oh. That brown mosque. Oh, I, I actually thought that was a church. 99% of people, they used to think it's a church, but it's a mosque. Well. So it was infected like this in 1925. <laughs> and exactly behind the mosque, you're going to see some growing building, the cluster building. Like two or three. Yeah. So that is late chief M. Kabiola family's house. Wow. He was born there and bought up there. And the place is called Bagua or Jagbo. And this is an Iroko tree. Oh, uh, I think this is the first time I'm seeing an Iroko, Iroko tree, tree in my life, but I've, I've heard about it, it several is, times. Exactly. So, and this particular one, it has been over 350 good years. You now see Ogun River. That's River Ogun. Oh, that's yeah, where the I state can see. derives its name, Ogun State. They named the state after Ogun River. And that river throws across four states here in Southwest Nigeria. The river throws across Oyo State, Oshun State, Ondo State, and Lagos State. Two Republic of Benin, and later Bosch and Atlantic Ocean in Europe. That means the river is navigable to anywhere in Europe. Two Republic of Benin. You know, when you get to Atlantic Ocean, that means you are in Europe. So it's navigable. That means you want to go to anywhere in Europe, you don't need your fish anymore. <laughs> Just you come to, to me, I'll just party with Keno. By 10 years, we'll bust you anywhere in Europe. I'm joking, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Lastly, we have eight different meanings and eight different interpretations to the meaning of Ogun. That O-G-U-N. When you write it down, it has eight different interpretations about the same spelling. The first one is Ogun. Ogun is God of Iron. The second one is Ogun. Ogun is War. The third one is Ogun. Ogun is Medicine. The fourth one is Ogun, which is sweat. The next one is Ogun, inheritance. That is another Ogun, figure 20. The seventh one is Ogun, that's long. While the last one is Ogun, to climb. To climb. Yes. And there's one about Olumo chorus, we used to sing for people, especially for people that climb to the top of Olumo. And Please, you're song, going to sing it for me, yeah? I'm going to sing Have it reached for the top you. of <laughs> Olumo. <laughs> oh. And the song was composed by late fella Nicola grandfather. Oh. And the song goes like this. Lori, okay, I think we're telling you. Am I supposed to dance? Ibe la ge, bi mi si o. Ibe la ge, to mi da gwa o. Ile o mi ni ra. Ma yo o, ma yo, ma yo, ma yo o. Lori, o lumo. Ma yo, ma yo, ma yo o. I can dance. Lori, o lumo. Ma yo o, ma yo, ma yo, ma yo o. Lori, o lumo. Ma yo, ma yo, ma yo o. Lori Olumo, eh, I be unkuta ilu eba, unkoni bagbe re, unogbe eleke ya komi be ilu odu oya, eh mi o fa be unkuta shogo odu o Lori Olumo, ma yo lo uko eba o, eh mi o mo li shabi ma yo o singi so ma yo ma yo ma yo o Lori Olumo, ma yo ma yo ma yo o Lori Olumo. My Olumo means I will rejoice on top of Olumo. So you guys are rejoicing today. There will be no cause for you to weep in your life. Amen. So we are rejoicing today. There will be no cause for you to weep over each other. Amen. You guys are going up higher. Going amen. Up higher. Amen. You are we continue going to prosper. Amen. Yeah, guys, so we have come to the end of our tour of Olumo Rock. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also click on the bell icon so that you can get notified of subsequent videos I will be putting out. Thank you so much once again, and bye bye. Amen. 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 Amen.